I'm Joel Lopez in Boca Raton, where Barbie and Oppenheimer are expected to break records at the box office. It's a blockbuster weekend for theaters like Cinemark in Boca Raton. Hello, As Oppenheimer. Christopher Nolan is one of my favorite directors because of his dedication to actual filming without using the CGI. And Barbie? We grew up playing with Barbies. That was like our main toy growing up playing. So it's just a lot of nostalgia. Premiering on this same weekend. All right, you'll be Peter Four down into your left. Barbie fans dress like their favorite doll and Oppenheimer fans mostly in black. Calling the double movie debut, Barbenheimer. On a scale of one to 10, how much did you like the Barbie movie? One to 10. 10 to 10. 10 to 10? <laughs> the busy weekend comes as Hollywood writers and actors are on strike, which could push back many new movies indefinitely. How are you guys preparing for what may be the future, uh, maybe like even a year from now on the impact that mm -hmm. that may bring? I mean, I we will see what happens, but again, for now, we're just really focused on this weekend. Cinemark officials didn't want to comment on the strike, but say that the demand of Barbenheimer has caused the theaters nationwide to add extra showtimes. The films could not be more different. They're such different genres, but, but to see so many people out there wanting to see both, I mean, it's just something that's really cool and it's just really great for the entire industry. Keep in mind, people watching both Barbie and Oppenheimer tonight will tally up about six hours in the movie theater. Reporting in Boca Raton, Joel Lopez, WPTV, News Channel 5.